In 1811, Chang and Eng Bunker were born as conjoined twins in Thailand. They'd moved to the U.S. to become rich. They inspired the term Siamese twins and lived two of history's strangest sex lives. Get ready for today's fabula on the bizarre story of the Bunker twins who inspired the term Siamese twins. So let's open our eyes. Open your eyes for the next saga. The bunkers were born with a fused liver and connected at the chest, such that they faced each other. Their mother reportedly pushed them to exercise, which eventually stretched the tissue so they could walk side by side. Chang walked on the left and Eng on the right. Their childhoods were reportedly relatively normal until one fateful day, the twins met a Scottish merchant who thought they were some strange animal. The merchant paid the bunkers' mother to take them to Boston, which they reached after 138 days. They studied English on the way. The merchant initially managed the bunkers, giving them a percentage of ticket sales to show off their bodies in freak shows. Over time. They incorporated backflips, somersaults, sports, chess, and more. Eventually, they decided to work on their own, performing around the US and the world, often working with famed circus manager Phineas Barnum. Journalists nicknamed them the Siamese Twins, and doctors inspected them on their travels. In one preserved record, a doctor noted that they couldn't feel pain more than half an inch from their center, but tickling one tickled the other and their sense of taste were connected. After 10 years, having become famous and wealthy, they retired, bought land and slaves in North Carolina, and entered Southern High Society. In 1843, they married two sisters, the daughters of a notable land-owning family. The marriages sparked outrage in the community and newspapers, particularly from those at the North which blasted them as bestial, like slavery itself. A year after the marriage, the wives would each give birth, six days apart. In total, they would have 21 children. At one point, they would have 18 slaves. The sisters lived in separate houses where the brothers would spend half a week, then flip. They reportedly engaged in a foursome on their wedding night, but after that, each brother had sex with only his wife. During the Civil War, the twins were often used to represent the house divided idea, with one being painted as a northerner and the other a southerner. Rumors and stories spread that they were actually on opposite sides of the conflict, but that's likely fiction. Yet when the war ended and their slaves were freed, they could no longer manage their farm and return to work. In 1870, Chang suffered a stroke, after which Eng tried to help them heal, but he never recovered, instead taking to drinking and dying in 1874. Upon realizing Eng was dead, two hours later, he was dead too. The Bunker Brothers saga had come to an end. Thank you for watching. See you again for the next sun.